Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a beginner friendly cloud design using gel polish. So I've already gone ahead and done my base coat. I used the gelless foundation. I'm going to be showing you all the materials that I have used for this tutorial. So today I used the Beatles Gel Polish in the color 817. It's just a light blue color. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like. If I can get it open. <laughs> so it is a jelly polish, so it's not going to be completely opaque. It is going to be somewhat transparent. And for the cloud, I'm using the China Glaze Gel Polish. It is white on white, so I'll show it right here. And then you're going to need a Dappen dish with rubbing alcohol. And today I'm going to be using the Detail Brush by Red Carpet Manicure. You can get this brush set at Ulta. They have it in the store and online, I believe. And then of course you're going to need lint-free wipes. So that way you can wipe off the tacky layer of the gel polish after it cures. And I'm just going to be using the Jealous Nails... Uh, Jealous Nail Surface Cleanse. Sorry guys. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using the Jealous Top It Off Top Coat. Just as a reminder, make sure you're using the pH Bond and a primer before you apply gel polish to like an actual natural nail. I just don't do it because I'm working on a fake hand. So we're going to go ahead and begin applying our Beatles gel polish. You can use any blue polish that you want. You can use just like a fully opaque blue. I just like the jelly polish because this one has glitters in it and it's just, I don't know, kind of gives it a little bit, little bit extra oomph. And also I'm really sorry I can't talk today. I have like sores on my tongue. I had potato chips last night and I have not been the same since then. I'm so sorry. So yeah, we're going to do two layers of this. If you're using this particular gel polish, you can do a third layer just to give the color a little bit more pigment to it. But I just did two layers this time. I'm going to zoom in my camera so you can see a little bit better. And on my mannequin, the blue looks, it looks more blue gray, but if it's on like a natural nail, depending on what color your nail bed is, it's going to look a little bit different. Um, I used this on like a press on nail that was clear and it was like very blue. Even with just two coats, it's still pretty blue. Um, but again, you can do three coats. It's up to you. So I wanted to take a moment to show you all what I have on my own nails. I did my own acrylics. It's been a while since I've done acrylics, so they're not like 100% the best, but this is Glam and Glitz in Wink Wink and Pamela. So I've gone ahead and already applied two layers of the gel polish and now it's fully cured. So the next step is to remove the tacky layer and then we will begin doing our design on top. So now we're going to take our detail brush dipped in the white gel polish and begin forming our clouds. Now remember, there's no such thing as a perfect cloud. There's no ideal cloud shape. Sometimes clouds cover the sky fully. Sometimes they're little dashes in the sky. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever you think looks like a cloud. It can be as abstract as you want. So I decided I wanted to add a little bit of bling to my nails. I'm going to be using the Bling It On collection by Kira Sky. I have them on my nails right now. It's the Northern Lights rhinestones. They're very shiny, very reflective. I love the colors that it puts off under certain light. I'm going to be using the tiny ones in the packaging, not the large ones. 
And then I'm also going to be using their gel um, rhinestone adhesive. And it's very thick. I'm going to show you what it looks like. It's very, very thick, but it works. Like, a, it works very well. So now I'm going to apply my rhinestones. Take your detail brush and dip it into the adhesive. You're going to put the adhesive on the nail wherever you want a rhinestone to stick and make sure you're not doing too much of the product because if you're using a tiny rhinestone and you push it into like a big pool of product, it's just going to flood over the rhinestone and it's going to ruin the design. I will be using my Kira Sky rhinestone tool. It's very pretty, has little crystals inside of it. And I'm going to just pick it up with the wax end and stick it wherever I have my adhesive. So I'm finishing up the rhinestones and then I'm going to cure it and then I'm going to take my gelish top it off top coat and apply it onto the nail. You don't want to take the top coat and go over the rhinestone, you want to go around the rhinestone. So if you want to use your detail brush for this you can but I'm just going to do my best and use the applicator brush to kind of go around the rhinestones. Sorry, I have a cat so sometimes I find cat hair on my mannequin hand. <laughs> We are done curing, so now we're going to remove the sticky layer using our gel surface cleanser or if you have like a rubbing alcohol, I believe that works as well. This is our final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye!